Here's your first alert of a pretty cool event making its way back to the boot heel. The Sykeston Hot Air Balloon Festival returns for a second year this June. That's Friday the 21st through Sunday the 23rd at the rodeo grounds. Now the cost is $5 per person per day. Kids 10 and under get in for free. So I'm joined by Taylor Deere at the Sykeston Regional Chamber. So what's new the second time around? We learned a lot last year, <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're really just focusing on making it a more enjoyable experience for anyone who comes out to see us. Streamlining the parking and the layout, making sure you can see the band, the balloons, you know, yeah. visit everything at once. Absolutely. So how was last year's turnout? I was there. It was incredible. It was. <laughs> um, you know, we really hoped that our community would come out and support us, and they did. But we were blown away by the amount of license plates that we saw from out wow. of state. Um, we, we were able to access some data and we'll be watching it closer this year now that we know, but we believe we had about 13,000 people. <laughs> oh my gosh. And we were blown away by that. But how many people were you staffed for? Uh, that's what we're working on right now is finding more volunteers, <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you that. We hoped for a few thousand, we did, so um, we were, it, that blew that out of the water, um, but that's a great problem to have. Seeing that data, 13,000, I mean, what was your reaction? We. Um, our committee really, really made it happen. <laughs> they were, you know, directing traffic out on the road, thing we didn't, mm. things we didn't anticipate. Um, but for our small community, having people staying in our hotels, you know, eating in our restaurants, mm -hmm. spending their money, huge. Yeah, what other things can people do besides going up in the hot air balloons? So we are hoping to have even more vendors this year. We've selected um, from a ton of applications, lots of food trucks, of course. Mm -hmm. um, we're really focusing on making sure there's more events for kids. So the bounce house, the golf, balloon animals. All um, the fun stuff, right? Yes, <laughs> but hopefully even more this year. Um, and we'll have bands once again. But we also want to make sure people know there are other things to do in our region during the day before the balloon glow. Yeah. So we'll be focusing on really advertising that as well. I mean, what was the feedback you were getting? Because 13,000 people is a lot of people, but they weren't just there. They were going across Sykeston, right? What was some of the things you were hearing from other people? Absolutely. We had downtown merchants, you know, in our small town say they'd never been so busy on yeah. a Saturday, you know, calling in back up to make sure they can get everybody checked out. Um, which is exactly what you want. You want people mm. spending money and hanging out in your small town. Yep, so to anybody that hasn't gone and they want to try it out for their first year, you know, what should they know? So this is a really family-friendly event, first of all. Um, we want to make it affordable, $5 a person, kids 10 and under get in free. Um, bring your lawn chairs and just plan for a really spectacular balloon glow. Mm. Um, we're going to have all kinds of food, of course, but just be ready for a really fun day and hope for good weather. Yeah, it's cash only? Well, we do say cash only because you just can't rely on the internet, but okay. we would say bring cash only, yes. Okay, absolutely. Hey, thank you so much for taking the time to be here. We appreciate it. Now we're going to throw things over to Cassie. How's it going?